Two months ago, Iowa State beat Iowa for the first time in years. It all looked out there for the Cyclones and uphill for the Hawkeyes. College football remains an unscripted reality show. Many Hawk fans grew frustrated with Iowa's stagnant offense. They weren't wrong then, and they're not wrong now. Fans should expect more than 146 yards of offense, but that's just how good Iowa's defense is, championship caliber. So are the special teams. And when that offense takes advantage of doorstep opportunities, Iowa wins. Make it three straight, legit shot to win the West. Now I've heard it suggested Iowa should not want a title rematch with Ohio State or Michigan, not with that offense. Horse bleep, always take that shot. Kirk Ferentz needs to eventually get the offense off the mat, but he also deserves credit for keeping Iowa focused and together when punchlines and jabs kept landing. There are real problems with the offense. There is no problem with the culture. One is an easier fix. The Cyclone defense deserves more wins. John Haycock's guys put on weekly clinics. So does receiver Xavier Hutchinson. They're keeping Iowa State in every game, but overall, Matt Campbell's team is not winning in the margins, it's losing. Sacks, fumbles, interceptions, penalties, dropped passes, shotgun sneaks, special heads or special teams head scratchers, turnstile O-line, little things. It's past the point of blaming inexperience, and Campbell knows this. There will be time for reflection, changes, and tweaks. Like Ference, Campbell has earned leeway and he'll get it. If we've learned anything this season, it's that nothing is ever as good or as bad as it seems.